7.3 populations of two states. The graphs show the populations of California and Texas over time. Estimate the average rate of change um, in the population in each state between 1970 and 2010. Show your reasoning. So they're telling us to um, estimate because it's very difficult to sort of get an exact number, right? This is um, zero to 10 million to 20 million to 30 million to 40 million. I know it's 40 million because it says population in millions. It would be kind of crazy if the populations of California and Texas were like less than 40 people. And then we've got our years going up by decades. So it's, it's can't really find an exact number. All right, so um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna locate points for 1970 for both states. So I'm gonna make, um, let's do Texas, actually let's do California first. All right, so California, 1970, that's a solid line. So here's one point I need. And then 2010, here's the next point I need. So if I'm looking at this first coordinate, max coordinate is 1970. And my Y coordinate looks to be 20, or really 20 million, but I'm just gonna leave it as 20. Um, because if I'm dealing with everything is millions, I can just leave it as 20 and it won't affect my answer. All right, um, so then the next year is 2010. All right, don't need a comma there. Inappropriate use of a comma. And uh, that looks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna estimate that that's 37, 37 million. So change in Y, change in X, I'm sorry, change in X, change in Y. My change in X is 40 years. And my change in Y is 17 million. So that will be 17, over 40. I'm going to take out a calculator because I cannot do that in my head. Oops, the calculator's not on. 17 over 40. And we get 0.425. So that would be 0.425 million people. per year, all right? And I'm gonna do the same thing with Texas. All right, Texas, we already know that the X coordinates are gonna be 1970 and 2010. I've done this twice now, that going crazy. All right, now let's look at the Y coordinates. So I would estimate that that looks like it's about 11 million in 1970. And in 2010, Right there, that looks like it's about 25 million. So my change in Y is 40, same as before. And my change in, I'm sorry, my change in X is 40, same as before. We're still going from the same years. My change in Y is uh, different, however. That's plus 14. So that'll be 14 over 40. So already I know it's gonna be slightly less because this was 17 over 40, this is 14 over 40. And 14 over 40 is 0.35 million people per year. In this situation, what does each rate of change mean? Um, so in both these situations, it would be the um, population in millions Uh, per year. And really I should indicate that it's an increase or decrease in population, right? We're not saying um, 0.35 million isn't the current population of Texas. Uh, 0.25 uh, million isn't the current population of California. We, every year, we increase 0.25 million, approximately. In Texas, every year, on average, they increase 0.35 million people. Um, right, so that's, that's what that, that rate of change is, is showing. Um, why is this helpful? Well, maybe if they wanted to predict, you know, what the population would be next year, um, they, might, they might be able to estimate that if they think it's gonna increase by that amount or this amount every single year. 
All right, so which state's population grew more quickly between 1900 and 2000? Show your reasoning. Okay, so they're asking which had a greater rate of change. Um, so I could go ahead and calculate the rates of change again, but honestly, I think that would be a little too much work. Um, because if I'm looking at where they began, they both began around the same point. Um, and if I'm looking at 2000, California is just way above Texas. And in fact, California actually started with a population a little below Texas. And by the time we hit 2000, it's way above. So I can say since California started in 1900, with a population less than Texas and ended in 2000 with a population greater, its population must have grown more quickly. All right, and that looks like that is all for 7.3. All right, have a great day.